friends today i discuss rate of change of velocity so i discuss in first in previous video the motion is two type the first is uniform motion and the other is non uniform motion non uniform motion in uniform motion the object travel equal distance in equal time so the velocity remains constant so the velocity remains constant velocity remains constant and velocity is distance displacement travel upon time so this is constant now in the case of non uniform motion object travel unequal distance in equal time interval so in the case of non uniform motion velocity varies with time velocity vary with time it has different value of different value at different instant and at different points of the path so in this video i discuss change in velocity with time so i introduce a physical quantity which is called acceleration which is called acceleration and acceleration is change in velocity per unit time so the acceleration is change in velocity per unit time per unit time so if i formulate this quantity or x so acceleration is change in velocity change in velocity upon time time taken so we can say acceleration is represented by small a so small a equal to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time so this is the formula of acceleration now i discuss now discuss in or discuss about unit of acceleration so the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square meter per second square now if a object travel along a straight line then velocity increases or decreases then velocity increases or decreases by equal amount by equal amount in equal interval of time in equal interval of time then this acceleration of an object is said to be uniform acceleration or i can say this type of motion is called uniform accelerated motion uniform accelerated motion now one more thing then if velocity increases or decreases by an equal amount in equal interval of time then this type of motion is called non uniform accelerated motion non uniform accelerated motion now i discuss an example on acceleration in next page now i take an example starting from a stationary position 
Rahul pedals his bicycle to attain a velocity of 6 meter per second in 30 seconds. Then he apply brakes such that the velocity of bicycle comes down to 4 meter per second in the next 5 seconds. Calculate the acceleration in both cases. So in first case, in first case, initial velocity, initial velocity u equal to 0 because Rahul pedals his bicycle. So Rahul start bicycle from rest. Final velocity final velocity v equal to 6 meter per second. Time taken so time is 30 second. So now acceleration is v minus u by t so you can say v is 6 minus 0 by 30 so 0 0.2 meter per second square. This is the answer for first case. Now discuss it for second case or in, in second case initial velocity u equal to 6 meter per second final velocity v equal to 4 meter per second because he Rahul apply brake so velocity decreases from 6 to 4 now time taken is 5 second so the Acceleration is V minus U by T, V is 4 minus 6 by 5 which is equal to minus 0.4 meter per second square. Now if you clearly observe this example then you see that in first case acceleration is positive. acceleration is positive means velocity increases velocity increases but in second case acceleration is negative acceleration is negative velocity decreases And in the case in, in which velocity in acceleration is negative, so this type of acceleration is called retardation. A new terminology retardation. So the negative acceleration is called retardation, positive acceleration is called acceleration. So I hope you understand how to solve this example based on acceleration so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video